Just a short drive northwest of Toronto brings you to the beautiful Caledon countryside and the studios of eight of the most dedicated artists in the region. I'm a retired high school art teacher. Now that I am retired, I've got the time to fully appreciate where I live and landscape has become very important, but I don't do it realistically. I love to heighten the color and let the paint flow naturally. I'm Lynn Westfall and this is Lynn Westfall Studios. I'm an oil painter, but this summer I'm doing a lot of watercolors. Being a dairy farmer, I could never stray very far from the barn. I had a limited number of hours to explore my uh, creative desire. I'm Randy McLeod here at uh, Villacroft Farm. I'm a wood turner. It's been a serious hobby of mine for uh, at least 12 years. Every piece of wood has its own character, and it's the wood turner's desire to try and find the best way to show off the uh, features of that piece of wood. I'm a perfectionist by nature, so working with glass, I can line things up, I can put things in order, I can stack things the way I want them. I put them in the kiln, however, and when I open up the kiln, sometimes they come out a horrible mistake, and other times they come out uh, beautifully, and I just simply don't want to give them up. My name is Bridget Wilson, and I'm a glass artist. I specialize in fused glass, plates, bowls, and jewelry. Years ago, I was inspired by the Impressionist paintings. I specialize in uh, landscape photography. What's unique about uh, what I do is I mount uh, my images on canvas. I pick very moody and emotional photographs, and when mounted on canvas, they, they look like oil paintings, and I'm very excited about it. My name is Marty Rosting. Uh, my studio is the Cedar Creek Gallery, and I'm a landscape photographer. My inspiration comes mainly from the fabrics, the colors, their structures. My name is Lenny Dijkstra and I work in textiles. They are presented uh, as a wall hanging uh, when you see just textile. Something new I'm trying this year is having my wall hangings framed. And so far the reaction to the ones that I framed has been very positive. Recently, my inspiration has come from three treks to the Canadian Arctic, where I've spent months exploring and painting the Canadian wilderness. My name is Corey Trepanier, and I'm an oil painter whose passion is painting landscapes. While in the field, I take my easel with me, and I try to capture the essence of the, the light and the land, and then bring it all back into the studio, where I'm now creating some very large canvases that I hope will give viewers a taste of what it's like to be in such a majestic environment. I'm Cheryl Carruthers, one of three women who work from Stone Ridge Studio, and we specialize in exclusive leather jewelry. We were all trained by Daphne Lingwood. Amazingly, we've been working together for 40 years, and nature's beauty in Caledon continues to give us endless inspiration. Many things in life require that we arrive at a certain place at a certain time, Abstraction is open-ended, it's spontaneous, and that's what I like about it. My name is Merle Harstone, and I work at Silver Creek Studios. I paint in the abstract. I work with various elements to create light refractions, shadows, shapes, and color. Different elements are adhered to the surface to create these particular areas of interest. Make sure to visit us this fall during the Caledon Hills Studio Tour. To meet the artists, experience their works, and take home a treasure that you'll cherish for life. The Caledon Hills Studio Tour. Real art, real close.